Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Beautiful Wednesday morning. So today's Daily Dose is sponsored by GrassStore.com. If you live in Southern California, you need weed fast. You can get it in 45 minutes or less with GrassStore.com. Save 40% on your first purchase of $30 or more. Use the coupon code ARK, A-R-K, at checkout. So today's major headline is this right here. Apparently, this uh, basketball player was caught with hash oil or cannabis oil of some sort in Russia. Uh, kind of scary to think what might happen to her, being that um, she's in a country that may not be all that friendly towards cannabis. Uh, we can dive into that, to that article and see what uh, exactly happened. Um, and if there's any insight into what the hell she was thinking about uh, traveling with cannabis oil into other countries, that's really, really dangerous. And uh, the reper repercussions can be quite severe. In today's episode, I'll also share with you guys uh, something that I do with my Kratom extract. If you like using Kratom extracts, you know that it um, really messes with your tolerance levels. It increases very quickly if you uh, do liquids or uh, capsules uh, for a prolonged period of time. Uh, what I do to extend it is what I'll share with you. That way I can get uh, five days out of one extract drink. Of course, results may vary from person to person, but this works for me. And being that I constantly test new Kratom products and new products in general, um, I have to play around with it. So according to the trends, as you can see here, stress levels are still at an all-time high, according to uh, Google Trends, going back 12 months. Um, and it may continue staying relatively high towards the, uh, the hundreds, 90 to 100 area. It's understandable with what's going on in Ukraine, um, uh, exponentially increasing oil prices. Uh, the, the prices we're paying at the pump are insane. Um, week over week, we are growing just at insane, um, at insane uh, prices. I mean, just last week it was five dollars. This week it's six dollars. So, if you are dealing with stress, my recommendation is you can try a few things if you have the budget. CBD works really well for that. Um, ashwagandha works really well for that, and I've got some of that on the way, and I'll share with you guys more about what that plant root is. Um, what else works really well? Kava, uh, lateral root, works really well. Just added a bunch to my catalog and in-store as well. Uh, these things have been known to help a lot of people uh, dealing with stress or anxiety. Um, of course, it does vary from person to person, but if you have not tried anything at all, uh, one of those things may help you with your stress levels. So, in any case, let's dive into uh, the, the Kratom extracts. For the longest time, I would sip just the, uh, the extract liquids out of their original bottles. At some point, um, I began to mix them with water. It uh, still doesn't taste great, but tastes better than it did when it was uh, just straight out of the bottle. This extends it by about five days for me. As I sip that bottle, I found just the right amount of water, the right bottle size, and then I drop the entire contents into that water, shake it up, and then I can sip that for five days. It, it works really well. And um, I feel like if you did a blend of capsules or powder and occasionally a sip of this throughout the day, you might, uh, you might find yourself um, at the, the perfect optimal usage. This way you can save a ton of money on your liquid extracts, which I, I know they're expensive. Trust me, I buy them by the box. So I'm aware of how expensive they are. Um, and when I use them, I need to make sure that uh, I'm getting really good value. This is a way to get maximum value out of your liquids. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. You might like it. Um, if you have any kind of recommendations about how to extend um, the value of liquid shots, because they're usually small, uh, 15 milliliters or less, um, leave them down below. Let others know that uh, there's you know, different approaches to this. So let's dive in to the specific um, article that 
I had uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, what the hell is going on in Russia and weed specifically? This um, this person, who knows if there's going to be any legal charges or what, but I'm going to share the screen with you right now and we'll see. So these are some of the uh, top headlines in the last day. And the specific one, this is relating to sports. So Brittany Griner detained in Russia, uh, American basketball star found with cannabis oil. What on earth was she thinking? A criminal case has been opened against her, could face 10 years in jail if convicted. That is, yeah, that would be the face I would make too if I heard I'm getting 10 years for some cannabis oil. Um, Seven-time WNBA All-Star, 31 years old, wow, she is young, has been detained by the Russian uh, Federal Customs Service after it claims to have found hash oil in her luggage according uh, to the New York Times. Um, on March 5th, Russian state TV released an updated photo of Greiner taken at a police station. A Russian official was interviewed during the segment and gave a brief statement translated in English. An expert determined that the liquid is a narcotic drug, cannabis oil. A criminal case has been opened against her um, for smuggling a significant amount of drugs. I don't know. Uh, was it one cartridge? Why would you say significant? I mean, significant is, that's a, that's a tough word to use. Um, I wonder if that's exactly what uh, Russian state media said, or the uh, authorities, the Russian authorities may have said that. I mean, that's what they're claiming, but we're getting this uh, through CBS is who's reporting it. And it was originally reported by the, who was it? What did they say? Uh, New York Times. But significant is, come on, one cartridge, two cartridge, that's two grams. That is not significant. Unless she had a whole luggage filled with them. Let's see if they tell us. When Griner's luggage was checked at a security checkpoint at the International Airport, Customs allegedly found vape cartridges that contained the hash oil. Uh, it is not known at this time whether she was exiting the country. Interesting. Um, vape cartridges, mul uh, plural. So there was multiple. A number of American basketball players have already left Russia and Ukraine, returning to the States amid the ongoing war between the nations. It is unclear how long Griner has been in custody, though footage of the screening at the airport occurred in February. Holy shit, according to the New York Times, which suggests she may have been detained for at least three weeks so far. A criminal case has been opened, who is currently in custody and could be charged with large-scale transportation of drugs, an offense that can carry a sentence of 10 years in Russia. The Customs Service did not identify Reiner by name upon announcing her detention, but it did release a video of the incident. Um, law enforcement source confirming the person detained was Greiner. The airport screening occurred in February, which means that Greiner has likely been in custody ever since. Um, the Phoenix Mercury, who selected Reiner with the number one overall pick in the 2013 WNBA draft, commented Saturday on the developing situation. In quote, she says, we are aware of and are closely monitoring the situation with Brittany in Russia. We remain in constant contact with her family, her representation, the WNBA and NBA. We love and support Brittany. And at this time, our main concern is her safety, physical and mental health and her safe return home. My goodness, that is quite terrifying. Uh, to be in another country. But like I said, like, what was she thinking? You know that um, it's, uh, it's going to be severe punishment depending on the country you go to, uh, especially like, let's say, Asian countries. If um, something like that was found in Japan, they are not friendly towards cannabis, haven't been for a long time. That might be changing uh, with the current times and how uh, cannabis is being viewed. Um, could this issue... Uh, be uh, related to what the, what's going on in terms of Russian sanctions and the whole geopolitical issues that we're seeing there. Uh, is this this uh, is this like a petty way of getting back at the U.S. for all the sanctions? I don't know. That's not something I can comment on, but it makes me wonder. Uh, the timing is uh, incredible. I suppose also. Um, could it be true or false? I guess there's that question of it too. In this day and age, knowing that cannabis is being decriminalized in a lot of countries across the globe, 
it um, it kind of uh, begs the question if this is really politically motivated at this point. The next one would also be just true or false. Is it true that these cartridges were found in her luggage? Could they have been planted? Uh, could it be made up and she's just being detained? Um, I don't want to believe that uh, uh, the Russian authorities would take it that far, but who knows what's going on? The tensions are high. And as I had uh, mentioned, stress levels are high as well. Let me show you. So here we are on Google Trends. Uh, interest over time, as you see, granted, this might be a lot of uh, C19 related, but it's been remaining pretty high. And it takes a huge dip towards the end of the year going into the new year, but tensions are rising again and stress levels are increasing. Though it's projecting it might come down, but who really knows? I can say that um, it's an interesting headline. Um, being held since February, that's quite scary too. Why are we barely finding out about it? I guess maybe um, authorities here may have known, but there's a good chance that um, it's been held from the media on purpose, probably just to uh, uh, keep it under wraps until they figure out what's going on. But it's safe to say it's been weeks so far, uh, considering what we have seen from or what we were told. We haven't seen, but we were told that uh, she was she was seen, I guess, on surveillance cameras uh, going through the airport in February at some point. Um, cartridges, that's, that's plural. How many? I mean, and could it be considered significant? Even 10 of them. If she's traveling around the world, 10 cartridges isn't significant. I mean, at most, we're talking 10 grams of oil. Um, traveling around the world, you know, if you use it as medicine, you want a steady supply and something reliable and safe. You don't want to go to Russia and be like, who's got weed here, right? Or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Wow. Well, let's all pray for Brittany and her safe return. Um, hopefully there's a way to negotiate her safe return and, um, and, you know, and we don't have a crazy incident like uh, Otto Warmbier. I don't know if you guys remember him, but uh, he was a student who was traveling to North Korea and, um, he had torn down some propaganda signs. He was caught, probably put into a labor camp. Who knows if he was tortured? This was in North Korea. Uh, when he finally returned, he died shortly after. What do you guys think about the story? What do you guys think about, um, you know, the method of trying to get more value out of liquid extract uh, for Kratom? Leave them down below and I'll catch you guys in a few days. So...